lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here live in England with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, uh, one of the believers had the question about Church of Christ. Is it scriptural? When we say Church of Christ, we have to distinguish between two organizations. One is the original Church of Christ, who are known as Campbellites, Campbellites, named after the Campbell brothers. That was what they were traditionally called in terms of their doctrinal theology. And then there was a Boston Church of Christ that broke away from it, sort of, and by all report is allegedly a cult. I've met them in London, and I can definitely say that their beliefs and modus operandi was cultic. But let's understand Campbellism. We are told in Galatians, if even an angel of God comes with another gospel, let him be accursed. I firmly believe in the importance of a believer's baptism. He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. It is wrong to separate baptism from salvation. What do you do with a corpse? You bury it. If someone is unwilling to undergo believer's baptism, Either they're ignorant of the scripture's teaching about believer's baptism, or they're not really saved because they're not following Jesus. Believer's baptism is the first step of discipleship. You bury the corpse. The good thief, however, obviously was never baptized. When he went to heaven, Jesus said, you'll be with me in paradise within an hour. This is the good thief. Or as we call him the good thief, we don't know what he was. But he was not baptized. The Church of Christ is similar to Roman Catholicism. They are de facto sacramentalists. They believe in the power of the ritual of baptism to save and say it is necessary for salvation. That without the ritual, as if it were ex opere operato in the Roman Church, they don't go quite that far. They wouldn't say it's not necessary to have a saving faith and you can be saved just by the ritual as a baby, what the Roman church does. But they would say, without the baptism, there's not salvation. They also have a lot of other strange views about the way they handle scripture concerning prophecy. They ban musical instruments and things like this. It's not scriptural. It is something I would put in a broad category with Seventh-day Adventism. They believe a lot of true things, but these true things are wed to false things. I couldn't say that there are not people in the Seventh-day Adventists who are not personally saved, but I can say that they have extremely wrong doctrine if they are. The Church of Christ is the same. Now here I speak of the mainstream Campbellites. The Boston Church of Christ, I would not disagree with those who define it as being cultic. I've encountered them in London. They are into an extreme form of party spirit. The ones I've met went so, the ones I've met went so far as to say that if you are not baptized into their church or by their church, you're not saved. This is, of course, party spirit an organization people should avoid like the plague is the Boston Church of Christ. I do not say there are not true believers in the Church of Christ, but the Campbellite doctrine is fundamentally wrong. This is in no way to diminish the importance of believers' baptism, but it is to say that their misunderstanding of it and misapplication of it is not scriptural. They're sacramentalists. They are functional sacramentalists. Thank you for the question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.